Did you know diabetes affects more than 37 million Americans? That's more than 11% of the U.S. population. And joining us to break down how serious diabetes is and the importance of understanding your risk is Dr. David Illich with Palomar Health. Welcome. Thanks, Laura. Doctor, we know that if left unmanaged, diabetes can lead to damage of the heart, the kidneys, our sight, but over time, it can also lead to hearing loss. Tell us how. Actually, hearing loss is first because let's break it down into two parts, outer inner and the outer middle ear are extremely common to have recurrent ear infections. Diabetes significantly reduces the body's uh, resistance to infections. Recurrent ear infections from uncontrolled diabetes is very common. Now, more importantly is central or inner ear, the cochlea for hearing, the vestibulars for balance, and then the central nervous system in the brain. The smallest blood vessels, the smallest nerves in the entire body are the inner ear. And like the canary in the coal mine, uh, this is where damage occurs first. The blood vessels swell due to high blood sugar and they burst, leaking blood and other fluids all throughout the inner ear. New abnormal blood vessels grow and they also burst, they're very weak and they have real poor synaptical connections. This makes a very delayed and distorted response going from the inner ear up to the brain. Early intervention in preventing this is the key. And the truth is many people are living with the disease and are unaware that they're diabetic or even pre-diabetic from frequent urination to fatigue. What are some of the other signs that you may have blood sugar issues? Balance problems is one because the vestibular once again has the smallest blood vessels and nerve system in the body, as does the cochlea. Uh, a lot of people have good auditory sensitivity, but they have difficulty understanding speech in a crowd. There are two landmark studies that came out last year. Back in 1995, both of them said that an eye exam should be a part of the initial diagnosis of when a person's first diagnosed with diabetes because retinopathy is very, very common with uh, diabetes. Last year, 2021, both the CDC and the American Diabetic Association put on there a balanced questionnaire and a hearing test within three months of the initial diagnosis. So now it's part of the actual protocol of CDC and uh, the American Diabetic Association. Diabetes can lead to a host of physical problems. Be smart, be aggressive, take care of yourself, have your blood sugar tested, have your hearing tested. I have diabetes and I didn't take it seriously for the first 10 years, and I regret that. Uh, be serious about your hearing loss, be serious about monitoring uh, your diabetes, and if you do have diabetes, do everything that you can to uh, prevent it from going further and damaging your organs. For more information or to make an appointment, visit palomarhealth.org. We'll see you next time.